Nick, thank you. And always ready, always there. While the National Guard's motto has been tested and proven over the years, this trip around the sun perhaps more than most. With soldiers and airmen currently stationed at our state and nation's capital, our Barrett Leone looks deeper into the job of a guardsman and how it's evolved in the times of great strife. It's all hands on deck. We will continue to perform our duties in accordance with the oath. Not just within this last week, following a riot at the U.S. Capitol and threats to state houses across the country. We swear to defend the Constitution of the United States against all actors, foreign and domestic. But within this last year. The year started out with uh, the 133rd Airlift Wing. Um, men and women and our aircraft deployed, and it has not slowed down since. It's made for busy soldiers mobilizing the entire National Guard during the summer and uh, continuing with assisting with the COVID response missions that we have within the state. And now here we are in D.C. While it's routine for the Minnesota National Guard to give support during a presidential inauguration. We have answered this call. The 59th inauguration. We're bringing in a lot of soldiers and airmen from all 50 states and territories. We're plussing up uh, to be right around 20,000 to 25,000 by the time inauguration comes in is of greater magnitude. In his 30 years serving, Chief Master Sergeant Mark Legvold says it's a first for him. So this one's special for me in that regard that it's the first, um, but this is a big one. They're used to hosting inauguration. The size and scope of this one is a lot bigger than, than they had expected, and we're good at adapting, and so that's what we're doing. Especially coming off of 2020, adapting is nothing new for some of these guardsmen. We're expecting that Wednesday is going to start with a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm for the inauguration of our new president and that um, other Americans are going to exercise their free speech in a peaceful way. And our National Guardsmen and women are going to be in the area to make sure that both can happen at the same time and end peacefully, quietly, and we move forward. To better serve the communities they call home as well. Our young men and women that are signing up for the National Guard come in with a sense of excitement and, and uh, uh, a desire to serve their community. We are ready and committed to the greater good of Minnesota. Barrett Leone, Fox 47 News. Yesterday marked the 100th anniversary for the 133rd Airlift Wing. To celebrate, the squadron did what they do best, flying five of their aircraft on eight different missions to the D.C. area to bring troops and supplies to support the Inauguration Day mission. As for Minnesota's state capitol, the Department of Public Safety is asking anyone who sees suspicious activity near the Minnesota state capitol to call 911. DPS tells us that protests remained peaceful over the weekend and no arrests were made.